Holy cow, what happened? Is the solar eclipse happening now? It's, it's the day after, guys. Come on, clouds, move out of the way, please. Please move so I can continue my video. Please move, please move. Oh gosh, thank you so much. So the question I've been getting asked a lot of is, should you carry a round in the chamber if you're carrying a pistol for your everyday carry? Now the obvious answer that I'm going to give you is yes. If you're gonna be carrying a gun for protection, you should carry a round in the chamber. I don't understand why it's so hard for people to grasp that concept or idea. Like, I'm carrying right now. This is the 945 Industries bag. If you wanna get your own, 10% off using my code JQ10. Quick plug. But I'm just saying, like, the, the reaction time for me doing this, pulling the tab down, I'm, I'm not gonna show you the gun, I'm not gonna brandish it because I'm in a public park, public space. I'm not doing that. But like, let's say there's an active shooter. I would not want to think about taking out my gun, racking it, and then going to work. And there are the clouds again. <laughs> I'll throw you another scenario, okay? What if you're just standing out, you know, with your friends, getting food, in line, whatever it may be, and someone squares up with you with a knife or even a gun? And then you're telling me that you're gonna take out your gun very quickly. You're going to rack your gun. Once you rack that gun, you're gonna have enough time to draw, get a good sight picture and start blasting and defend yourself. Like, I don't think people understand that you have to factor that in. The reaction time of someone else doing something or bringing you bodily harm to yourself or your loved ones, that reaction time has to be so quick that you don't even think about it, which is why I always say carry around in the chamber. That way you don't have to worry about having to rack your gun and then presenting and going to work. It literally makes no sense to me, the logic people saying, hey, I don't carry one in, in the chamber because A, B, and C. Now I have heard people say they're afraid to do so. Okay, I understand. Well then don't carry a gun. I've also heard people say that when they were in the military, they trained them to not carry around in the chamber and to draw, rack, and then go to work. Now, I don't know if that's entirely true. Maybe in some branches of the military, Coast Guard, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm so much kidding. Now, I would understand if someone trained you to do that, but you have to, you know, for yourself, think about it. Like, why would I wait to rack my gun and put one in the chamber, there's no point in waiting. You should have a round in the chamber to get to work. I feel like most people share this idea, but I do find that some people just don't understand it or they are afraid. Now, if you're afraid of putting one in the chamber, that's fine, I get it. I say don't carry or go to the range and practice with carrying a gun with one round in the chamber. Here's kind of my, my final thoughts on this. If you're going to carry a gun, you're saying, I, I behold the responsibility, I will take the responsibility on putting down that threat. Like what you're saying is, when I carry that gun and if there's an active shooter or someone's getting or about to be stabbed, I'm going to step in and use my firearm in self-defense for the greater good. That's what I believe and that's why I carry and I've chosen to carry for that purpose, for that reason. But you shouldn't leave it at that. Just carrying a gun isn't good enough. You should be going to the range and training with your everyday carry. Whether it be one gun, two guns, or three guns in the rotation, you should be practicing and going out and training with all three of those. You can't just carry a gun and call it good. Like, hey, if anything ever happens, I'm okay. I'm somewhat trained. No, you should go train yourself, go to classes, go to courses, look online, look up YouTube videos and get all the training you possibly can. That way you're setting yourself up for success. You can then practice and train with one in the chamber, getting faster from drawing from concealment, from your holster, or from, you know, something like this, 945 industry concealed modular back. JQ10 for 10% off, just just, just say you guys know, just, just a quick plug. But no, for real guys, let me know what you guys think. Should you carry one in the chamber? Yes or no, comment down below. You know what I think, you definitely should. And with all that being said guys, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, I appreciate all of you and I will catch you guys in the next Johnny Q video, peace.